Fresh out the gym, huh, huh. I might flex on the gram, huh, yeah. My Louis in my boots, yeah, yeah. This season on Tim's, huh, yeah. A few in the K. Welcome back to my channel, YouTube. Now, today we're gonna be talking about the box truck business and tell you how much money you can make from box trucks. Now, transportation business is a gold mine, man. Transportation, is, people just need to get around, period. You always need to go here, you need to go there, you need to move this, you need to move that, you need to take this from there to there to here, you know what I mean? So, transportation is a money maker. You always remember that. Now, box truck is guaranteed to make you at the least a million dollars a year it's by securing contracts i'm talking about by just moving people period you could just get into any business somebody is always moving out somebody is always moving in somebody always needs something moved always like literally and if you look at the prices in the area of what people charge you can always go down a hundred dollars you know what i mean even two hundred dollars you know what i mean like somebody might charge five hundred you know, you can go to 350, you know, just for one move. That's in one single move. So imagine if you woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning and did like 10 moves. You know what I'm saying? All the way to nighttime. That's a bag a day. So, you know, definitely want to talk about box trucks, man. Definitely want to put y'all on game about that. Um, a lot of people that I know, you know, they got about 5, 10 box trucks and they making a whole lot of money, you know. And um, a lot of companies are getting taxed because as a company, people are trying to overly play their part so like let's say if you come to my company and you know you notice that I'm a company but you want to overcharge me because I'm a company because you work for another company so if you got a personal box truck and you know your truck similar to the truck that I was working with through the company and you willing to take over half the cut that I was paying them, then I'm most likely I'm going to go to you. You know what I mean? Everything is all about just saving money and knowing that, you know, everything is secure. Let's talk about the very first step, man. We're going to get into the very, very, very first step of what you got to do. The very first step to even doing everything that I'm talking about is actually setting up your LLC. And if you don't know about setting up your LLC, we just talked about that in the last video, man. So go watch my last video. If you want to know about setting up your LLC, man. And for everybody that's watching, man, make sure y'all stop right now what y'all doing. Click the bell, turn on the notifications, subscribe, and go subscribe to my OnlyFans, man. Right now, OnlyFans.com slash Bandman Kevo, man. Make sure y'all sign up. Make sure y'all get, you know what I'm saying? Talk to me, you know what I'm saying? I talk back to everybody that's in my OnlyFans. You know what I mean? That's that's the only place. If you hit me up on Instagram, you hit me up on Facebook, Snapchat, that's the only place that I will really respond to you because I feel like if you pay a subscription, you know what I mean, we can get more in tune. I charge people two fifty for ten minutes for FaceTime calls, but if you're on OnlyFans, I might do fifty dollar deals sometimes. I might do hundred and fifty dollar deals, it just depends. And mentorship prices are very high, you know, to the average person. But if you're on my OnlyFans, mentorship price is low, you might want to do a YouTube collab. Like, I'm about to do a video on dog breeding, and people don't even understand how important that is. And I was just like, well, if somebody got dogs and they want to actually do a collab with me, we could do one together and we could talk about the profits. And you could actually, you know, get a lot of sales off of it because, you know, people are going to be knowing who you are. And, you know, because I'm going to do one with my Frenchie. But other than that, let's get back to this trucking, you know what I'm saying, and keep y'all up on game about this. But definitely want to open up LLC, man. And after you open up the LLC, you take control, man. You go ahead and move to the second step. So listen, y'all, after you get your EIN number, you know what I mean? You definitely want to make sure you go get your DOT and your MC number, which is a motor carrier number. Now, the DOT number is identification number that allows the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration to monitor a company's safety record and information acquired during inspections and audits. So you definitely want to stay up on top of that. You definitely want to get that. They're on every truck that they see on the road. Every truck. So listen, step three is the BOC3 filing. Now, if you guys want to know what a BOC3 filing is, it is the federal filing in the United States that assigns a process agent to accept legal documents on behalf of transportation logistic company in each state which is the company is authorized to do business so you got to understand that 
you have to have everything in order. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's only thirty dollars. You know, go ahead and take care of that. You know, life is about researching, man. A lot of times you have to research everything that you want to learn about, especially when it comes to getting to the next level. Now, me personally, you know, I just look at life like, okay, well, I'm independent. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to figure out everything I need to figure out. That's why I'm giving you all these steps on how to get to the next level. That's why I'm always talking about credit. That's why I'm always talking about business. That's why I'm always telling y'all how to make money you know what i mean a lot of people watch me because they know like man i'm gonna learn something that i didn't know so take it in consideration man get that b o c three filing man so listen you must do this every single year the unified carrier registration program man you must do this every year is very 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 important and it is a federally mandated system for registering operators of commercial vehicles who are involved in interstate and international travel, man. And you got to understand that, you know, the United States is pretty big. You know, you got Canada, you got all these type of places. Make sure you file every single year. It's very important, y'all. Very. Right after that, you definitely want to go do this. And that is going to get insurance. Now, depending on what type of truck you have, that's how you would know how much insurance you get. So if you want to go ahead and skip the line, just pull a VIN number and call an insurance agency and see what insurance will be on that truck. You know what I mean? Because if you might get a crazy truck, like a crazy box truck, and your insurance might be 40000 You might get one, you know, and your insurance might be 1500 3000 You feel me? So you definitely want to know what your insurance will be looking like before you actually purchase the truck and that is the hack to this now when you are getting insurance you have to have a million dollar liability package you feel me and you have to have a hundred thousand dollar cargo insurance policy you know what i mean that's because people are going to want their stuff protected and understand nobody is going to want to work with you if you cannot protect their assets in your truck. So you definitely want to have these two, man, or you can't really do too much of nothing. So insurance is very, 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 very important. And I'll tell y'all that in other videos, you want to have great life insurance. You want to have renter's insurance. You want to have good car insurance. Insurance, insurance, insurance on everything that you do, man. You want to make sure you have insurance on everything possible. Same. So now listen, after you did their insurance, you know what I mean? And like I said, you went to go look at the vans of trucks to see what the insurance was like. Now, you know, you got to understand this. You know you're going to be on a road, you know what I'm saying, a whole lot. You know you're going to be carrying people's cargo a whole lot. You definitely want to make sure you have a reliable truck, you know what I mean? And with that being said, you know, some people just go to the first place and make the first you know, choice, because you got to understand, anytime you're dealing with somebody that's trying to sell you something, they're trying to sell you something to make profit. They don't care about, you know, you being on the road or what's in your truck. You know what I mean? So they'll be willing to sell you a lemon. So you have to understand that you can't just go off of like, you know, the first thing that you see or, you know, the first thing you have to you have to really shop around and you have to look under the engine. And you have to you have to know, like, you know, you have to test drive it. You have to get in it, feel for it. Because what if you're the one that's driving? You might be on the road. You want to be comfortable. You want to make sure the air works. You want to make sure the windows work. You want to make sure, you know, when you turn, you don't hear no weird noises. You want to make sure that, that it stops, like it posts to stop. So it's a lot to trucks. You might even get some trucks that come with inside cameras, outside cameras, just in case you want to hire a worker to actually drive your truck. So it's a lot of stuff to look for, especially when it comes to like breaking down. Not only that you might have brake problems, but the actual motor itself. You know, I'm pretty sure you might be buying a used truck and it might have to have a whole lot of miles on it. And you definitely want to know like if, if this is a good running engine, if this is a good running transmission. You know, um, do they do an oil change on it regularly? Do they have all the proper facts about this truck? Have the truck ever broke down? Um, has it ever been in a wreck? Or all, just everything. You want the whole report about the truck. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, this is your investment. And 
you're going to be having other people's investment on this same truck. You don't want to be somewhere stranded. You know what I mean? So that's definitely a very important step, you know, is making sure when you go purchase your truck, you make the right choice and the right buy. You know what I mean? Because like I say, like, this is an investment. It's just like you buying a house. You want to buy a house that's stable. So it's the same with your truck. You know, you want to make sure everything is good and, you know, you, you protect it. And, you know, you're going to get to where you need to go. You're going to go from A to B. You're going to take somebody's car, go from A to B. You know what I mean? So listen, anytime you're riding down a highway and you see a truck, they have their DLT decals on the side of the doors. You definitely want to make sure that your truck has its DOT decals on the side of the doors. You know what I mean? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just a little small sign or stickers that's on the side of the door. You see it on every single truck. You can't miss it. Anytime you're on the e-way and you look to the left or the right and you see a truck, they're going to have the numbers on the side of the truck. You definitely need those anytime you are on the road driving a truck. They are called DOT decal numbers you know what I mean so you need those and you can probably get them for like about twenty dollars you know what I mean they they real cheap so it's a must you you gotta have them and why are you doing that you might as well just throw your logo on there so you look professional as well you want to have the DOT you know decals you know throw your number on there throw your logos on there you know what I mean what state address but make it look professional you know what I'm saying but it definitely need that so let's jump into something else now Anytime, just like a car, cars need inspections. Now, when we see a truck, you're going to see a blue sticker. And what that is, is an annual inspection that you definitely need. You definitely have to do this every year. You have to get a DOT inspection every single year on your truck. And you just got to do it. Your mechanic or wherever you go to get it inspected, you know, they're going to give you a blue little sticker that's going to go on your truck to show that you know your truck been inspected and it's certified so along with that you got the blue card you know what I mean you good your inspection you good you will need a ELD and a logbook these are two very important things you need especially if the police pull you over why is because you know some people like to work more hours than they post to work and you know it's actually illegal to drive like 24 hours you know what I'm saying past 24 hours a day and people try to do it. That's why you hear about a lot of truck drivers falling asleep on the road. You know what I mean? And just overly doing it. Or they might just stop at a gas station, get a few hours rest, and then keep driving and driving and driving and driving. You know what I mean? Because they just want to knock out so much. And they want to, like, produce and produce and produce and not get rest and end up hurting somebody. So this is how the police actually will know if you are putting in the right amount of hours because you will have a log book and the log book you will show you know how many hours per time per drop you've been driving so it's it's pretty good for the safety of people that's on the road and the safety of yourself you know what i'm saying if you fall asleep or something like that or your worker you check on them and making sure that they doing but like me i advise everybody like to have a camera just like a camera in your business you are allowed to watched your driver how many hours he works and you know hire an assistant or a manager to watch that person you know what i mean when they unload the truck make sure you know what's in your truck you may make sure there ain't no drugs going in your truck or they're doing extra trips and extra stops cameras are very important for your truck inside the truck outside the truck and inside of the truck where the driver is for safety reasons as well and just for anything because it's your company you know just I mean? like we all know you know the truck is an asset my cars is an asset, you know what I mean? Anything that you want to want to want to hold on to that's on the road that has wheels, you want to make sure it has a GPS. Now, trackers and GPSs are very very important when you have people who can steal your truck and you want to always just know where your truck at at all times. You just never know, you might park your truck in the wrong spot and it might get towed. Or you might, um, you know, just walk out the store and, you know, somebody didn't did something. Like, whatever. I don't know. You know, you just want to make sure that you have a GPS on your truck, man, at all times. It's very important, especially if you got a driver. You want to know where your driver at at all times. He might tell you that he's going to do this load here and he'll be back. And next thing you know, you see the location went there, 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 and there. You know, you want to know that your truck is going exactly where... A person told you that they're taking your truck. 
because you're going to ask, hey, where are you going with my truck? They're going to say, okay, I'm going here. And you're going to write that down and let, okay, well, he's going here. He's going to do this. This is how much I'll be making. There's no reason what your truck should stop here, there, 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 there. And if it has a GPS, the GPS is going to let you know, okay, well, he's at a gas station. Well, he's probably here. He's probably there. You know what I mean? Depending on how advanced you got. Now, you can get these GPSs at truck stops or, you know, online, um, Amazon, you can get these anywhere. I suggest that you buy the best GPS because it's your asset. You want to make sure you know where it's at and you want to protect it. Now, this is the main, 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 main purpose to everything. You know what I mean? So that's getting paid. Now, you probably wondering like, okay, you talked about the box truck, you know, how we get paid. Now, the irritating thing about a lot of these companies is they pay like a few weeks, sometimes even a month out. You know what I mean? And I know you probably like, damn, that month to a few weeks? You know what I mean? Like, nobody wants to wait a few weeks. Like, usually, you be like, man, I want to get paid in a week. After I do some work, I think I should get paid in a week, not a few weeks or a month. So, what you're going to do is you're going to find you a factoring company. And I know a lot of people don't know what a factoring company is, but I'm going to show y'all. What a factoring company is going to do is pay you up front for a percentage. Now, some factoring companies might go from 2 all the way up to probably even 10%. It just depends. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't go over 4 5%. You know what I mean? Like, But on the average, you probably find a lot of factoring companies that will probably do about 3%, 2%. And they will wait on you know, the companies to actually pay them. So instead of you waiting you know, weeks and months to get paid, you will get paid from the factoring company. They're going to take their bread. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take their percent off of your money. And then they're going to wait on their money to come from whatever company you didn't did the load. So you want to go get the load. Then you're going to invoice the factoring company. And then the factoring company going to wait. But they're going to take a percent. Now that's how everything goes as far as, you know what I'm saying, getting ahead. But you definitely need to know it's secrets to every single thing. It's hacks to every thing, single thing, man. You know what I mean? And the best thing about it is, you know, is people don't even know this. But it's good that somebody will tell you, like, okay, man, go to a factoring company, man, so you can go ahead and get your bread. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you got if you got money saved and you don't want to give them no percent and you just, you know, don't want to break bread with them, cool. You can just wait a couple weeks or a month, you know what I mean, depending on what company you're working with, and you will go from there. I mean, but majority of these trucking companies, man, after you do that load, you got to definitely wait a few weeks to a month to get paid. You know what I'm saying? So you want to lock in with a good factoring company and, you know, show them that, you know, you're going to keep doing business with them and you got a lot of loads coming in. The percentage might start high, but then it might work its way low because they see that you study coming back and breaking that percentage with them and you're building a relationship. So they might end up just saying, you know what, we'll take 1%, we'll take 2% versus starting high. You know what I mean? And staying high, you know, because some factoring companies are greedy. So you got to understand that that's just how, you know, these companies make their money. Now, let me just put y'all up on this. If y'all want all the game, right here is my trucking guide. It is on OnlyFans, man. So if you want to get my whole trucking guide, step by step, how to do everything with some more secrets on, you know what I mean, how to do this and how to do that. You know what I mean? Just go to my OnlyFans, sign up. You know what I'm saying? Just say, hey, bro, I'm here to get the trucking guy. You know what I mean? And I'm going to give you a deal on it. You know, so that way you can just, man, I learned a lot from you, bro. Da -da -da -da, you know what I'm saying? And interact with me. We can talk, you know. Like I said, it's a lot of celebrities, man, don't get on YouTube and, um, and really, you know, talk back to their fans a lot. So I just feel like you can connect with somebody, man. Why not connect? You know what I'm saying? The subscription is $50 a month. You know what I'm saying? But you definitely get to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know, type shit. And I'm putting out primaries, trade line sites, you know what I'm saying, that you can just go right to and um, different types of sites for your business, sites that can actually grow your business. Like, it's a whole lot of stuff that's on there that you'll be able to learn from and, you know, that makes a lot of sense, especially for what I just taught y'all with this trucking. Like, it might seem difficult, but, man, just do your research on a lot of the stuff that I just told y'all about. And just go ahead and take it to the next level because it definitely can take you to the next level. Especially with this guy that I got, man. I got plenty of guys. I probably got over like 15, 16 guys now, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm doing a crazy deal. Like, if you're watching this video, I'm giving away 20 different guides on my OnlyFans from 
15 to 20 different guys for a hundred dollars and I'm talking about these guys that I be selling for like three four hundred dollars each each so just do the math 10 15 20 guys three four hundred dollars each to y'all that's watching this video all for a hundred dollars man so go to my only fans let me know that you just subscribed you know what I'm saying I'm gonna I'm gonna know if you just subscribed to my only fans and then I'm gonna just say hey, look I'm gonna give you all these guys for this price you know what I mean as soon as you go to it, make sure you just, if if I don't send you no message, make sure you just, you can just tip like, hey, bro, I'm here for all the guys. I need that truck driving guy, man. Put me on some game or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Get more in tune, you know, grow your business. Take your business to the next level. I mean, like I said, if you watching and you do have a business, you might have a trucking business and you might want to um say, hey, man, I want to tell people more about, you know, how to start a trucking business with 20 trucks. And you want to get that out there and help people, you know, get to the next level. And you want to do any collabing on YouTube and you trying to, and you got a budget. You know what I'm saying? We can get this rocking though, man. We can go to the next level and I can get your brand. I can help your brand grow. You know what I mean? So we're going to get, we're going to do it like that. Make sure y'all follow me on YouTube, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Instagram right now. Stop what you're doing. Go to my Instagram, man. Turn on my notifications when I be going live. You might get a chance to go live with me. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram right now. Bandman underscore K-E-V-O. If anybody inbox you from any Bandman Kevo page, like, because I noticed that people uh, make fake pages and people that follow me, they follow them and inbox them like, hey, uh, this Kevo from another page, I will never inbox you. So if somebody is inboxing you, it is fake. So make sure you just go to report. And then when you go to report, say this person is trying to be somebody else, celebrity, put my name, and then submit. They're gonna their page is gonna get deleted, but you have to do it just like that. As well as if you guys comment, right? Let's say if you guys comment on a video and somebody comment under you with a fake Bandman Kevo page, you should know. You'd be smart enough to go click on their profile and see that it has one, two, three, four, five followers or five subscribers. It's a fake page. Do not be dumb and think that. I'm going to make a page just to get, like, come on now. It's common sense. I teach y'all all about finessing, you know what I mean? All types of ways to avoid people, you know, doing this type of stuff. So just be smart. Just know, like, I would never inbox you. I would never, ever comment under your comment to try to get you to come somewhere else and all this type of weird stuff. So just know, like, it's a scam. Pay attention to these type of scams that's out here. We're going to be turning up. I'm going to be going live with a whole lot of y'all on YouTube instead of Instagram, you know what I mean? So be looking forward for that, man. That's going to be like sometime this week. So be ready. Turn on your notifications, man, for that so you don't miss it. So as soon as I go live, you right on it, right ASAP, you feel me? So I want to be able to see everybody that's watching my channel, you know what I'm saying? Get a chance to holler at y'all, and we're going to take it from the top. Fresh out the gym. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I might flex on the gram. Uh -huh. yeah. My Lord.